Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this diode circuit and we have been asked to find the value of this resistor R such that this output voltage of the circuit is equal to 2.4 volt. Now here, these three diodes are identical and they are connected in the series connection. Moreover, we have been given that the forward voltage drop across this diode is equal to 0.7 volt whenever the current through them is equal to 1 milliampere. So let us find the value of this R to get the output voltage of 2.4 volt. Now to solve this question, you should be aware about the VI characteristic of the diode. And you should know that this forward voltage drop across the diode is a function of the current. That means as the current through the diode increases, then this voltage drop across the diode will also increase. Now here, with the 0.7 volt of voltage drop, this output voltage will be equal to 2.1 volt, right? But here, we have been given that the required output voltage is equal to 2.4 volt and to get that this forward voltage drop across the diode should be equal to 0.8 volt. So first of all let us find out this diode current which will give us the forward voltage drop of 0.8 volt and with the help of it we will find this resistor R. So as you know this diode current ID can be given by this expression that is Is times e to the power this VD divided by VT and here we have been assumed that this ideality factor is equal to 1. So whenever this forward voltage drop across the diode is 0 0.7 volt at that time let's say this diode current is equal to ID1. That means ID1 is equal to IS times e to the power this VD1 divided by VT. Similarly for some other current ID2 the expression can be written like this where this VD2 is the voltage drop across the diode. So we know that whenever this ID1 is equal to 1 milliampere at that time this VD1 or the forward voltage drop across the diode is equal to 0 0.7 volt. So here we need to find the value of this current ID2 whenever this VD2 is equal to 0.8 volt and to find that let us divide these two expressions. So if we divide these two expressions, then we can say that this ID2 divided by ID1 that is equal to this e to the power this VD2 minus VD1 divided by VT. Or we can say that this ID2 is equal to this ID1 times this e to the power this VD2 minus VD1 divided by VT. So here, we already know the value of this ID1, VD1 and the VD2. That means here this ID1 is 1 milliampere while this VD1 is equal to 0 0.7 volt. Likewise, this required value of VD2 is equal to 0 0.8 volt. And at the room temperature, the value of VT is already known. So at the room temperature, the value of thermal voltage is around 25 millivolt. But some of you might have taken the value of VT as 26 millivolt and with that value the value of ID2 will be slightly different but here I am considering the value of VT as 25 millivolt so with that value of VT let us find the value of ID2 that means this train current ID2 is equal to this 1 milliampere times this e to the power this 0.8 volt minus 0 0.7 volt divided by 25 millivolt so with this value, if you calculate the value of ID2, then it will come around as this 54.59 milliampere. That means we can say that whenever the current through the diode is equal to this 54.59 milliampere at that time, the drop across the diode is equal to 0.8 volt. And hence at that time, this output voltage V out will be equal to 2.4 volt. So to get this current, let us find the value of this R. So now we know that the voltage at this end is equal to 2.4 volt and we also know the value of this diode current. So now we can easily find the value of this R. That means this R is equal to 10 volt minus 2.4 volt divided by ID2 that is equal to 7.6 volt divided by 54.59 milliampere. So if you calculate the value of R then it will come around as 139 ohm. But suppose if you have considered the value of 
dt as 26 millivolt then the value of r will be around 160 ohm that means this is the required value of r which will give us the output voltage of 2.4 volt that means for the given question the value of r is equal to 139 ohm and suppose if you have considered the value of vt as 26 millivolt then in that case the value of r will be around 162 ohm